To build a new model using Seismic File, go to Create New Model. Here, choose Seismic File. To do this, we need to load Seismic SegWi file, which we will use to build our model. In this case, this is 3D SegWi. Each trace of volume contains compressional velocity. If you have additional SegWi file, density, shear velocity, we can load these as well. Then press OK. In this window, we can draw a line along which we can build our model. This can be done by using your mouse to drag and click and release. We can al also do this manually by adding your points of origin, length of line and its azimuth, or by basic coordinates. H can be useful to apply zoom map option to increase scale. Use mouse to draw your line by clicking and dragging or use coordinates above, then click OK. Then it will take you to section. Now you can see a model from the information applied. Click finish. It will take you to Acquisition Geometry, then click Yes. It will take you to Observation Layout. Choose Move Receivers with Source. Click Next. Sources, add your shot points and put, for example, two shot points. And for distance between shot points, 2500 meters, then click Next. It will take you to Receivers, where you can change number of and distance between receivers, then click Finish. Okay, now we have a model to build on. Now we have a model that has two shot points with these respective receivers spread. This model is represented by a, the grid of compressional velocity values taken from SegWi file. If we look at the polygon properties, we can see properties that are taken from seismic file. To exit, click OK. Now we can create new to add to this. Choose Close Polygon Loop and click OK. Drag and double click. Next, it will take you to Polygon Properties. On this, deactivate seismic file and add your compressional velocity manually to the polygon we just created, then click OK. We can smooth the boundaries of this polygon. Click your right mouse button and choose Edit Polygon. Then click Smoothly Borders and OK. We now have a smooth polygon, which will be taken into account during the synthetic gathers creation. Now we need to save our project and we can start calculating synthetic gathers.